Oh, just got a delivery. A big box here, isn't it? And it's wet. I wonder why. This is why. Oh, what an awful day. Rain, rain, rain. Anyway, let's have a look at this. What is this? Grill dehydrating tray. Can you guess what that is? No. Okay. Let's see if we can get it unboxed. Hi again guys, I'm back and this is what was in that big box. As you can see, it's a big pot was in the big box. Great stuff. This is called the Pro Crisp Multi-Use Pressure Cooker plus an Air Fryer. And this is made by Instant Pot, one of the most famous and well-regarded pressure cooker, air fryer, all those type of... Um, kitchen appliances manufacturers great reputation and I thought I'd get one because the wife she likes cooking and as you've seen when you like cooking you like eating and when you like eating you like to get as much of that food as you can so we decided to go for a large this is a 7.6 litre pot, but near enough to eight. We decided to go for near eight, I'd call it just eight litre. Eight litre pot that we can cook a lot, or well, not me, she can cook a lot of food at once. So this is it. This is the Instant Pot Pro Chris Multi-Use Pressure Cooker and Air Fryer. Right, I'm going to run through a little bit of the bits because I don't know what they are. So I'm going to have to read from here. So, right, let's have a look at this. This is the top of the air fryer lid. So that's what that is. And what that looks like is, oh God, it's heavy. That's what it looks like. So this is an air fryer. So you put that on top when you want to air fry certain foods. And uh, yeah, that's where the dual bit comes in. It's very, very heavy. There's a fan in there as well. So I'm sure that when it's working, it spins and obviously circulates the hot air. There's six pins there that will slot into a six pin hole thing at the back there. But yeah, that's the top and this, this is the Instant Pot um, hot plate guard, if you want to call it. You put that down, and then when you take the lid off, this is going to be so hot, you need to put it down somewhere. So obviously, they say put it down on that plate when, it's, uh, when you've just taken it off, and it's still very hot. All right, let's have a look at the 
pot. There's the pins, as I said. Right, let's have a look at the pot itself. This is the inner pot. And as you can see, it's quite large. It's a seven litre there. It says seven litre. They say in the manual 7.6. But yeah, that's big enough. Much bigger than, well not much, but bigger than the one we had before, which was six litres. And uh, yeah, this will get, you know, a lot more food in there. So that's great. And as you can see, it comes with easy grip silicone handles. So obviously you can pick it up and put it on a stove. It is induction ready as well. You can put it on an induction hob or put it straight in the oven if you want to cook something in the oven. That's the other reason why we got this was because it was one of the only ones I saw which was a electric plug-in type. Yeah, obviously you could buy a pressure cooker which is stainless steel and obviously you just chuck it on your fire on your hob or wherever in your oven and it works that way just the, just the obviously the inner pot and um but this was one of the only ones that i saw that was electrically operated you just plug it in switch it on and it works heats it up that comes with a stainless steel inner pot so that's quite rare most of them come with this type of thing here which is obviously a uh, coated with a non-stick coating that obviously scratches off after a while but this one comes with an inner pot stainless steel inner pot I should say if we look inside there's inside of the pot um, just a spring-loaded um, safety device there that obviously when you put it the put the inner pot in that presses down and obviously let's all the electrical circuits work obviously if there's no inner pot in it won't work there's the pins at the back there the six pins that i showed you of the uh, you know that was on the air fryer lid there that sits on top of there and it gives some circuits to run the uh, fan at the top so that's it so let's put that back the other good thing i understand with this design was that uh a lot of them this rotates so when you're stirring well the previous model definitely did this is the newer model but the previous model and some other pots as well when you put the inner pot in you're stirring and stuff and this swivels around that moves around depending obviously how hard you do it I'm sure but it does move around but what they've done here they've changed the design that it sits in these two grooves that ain't going anywhere that's not moving so that's solid so you can do all your stirring do whatever and that's not going nowhere that's a good feature great feature that is so that's that right so what else is there accessories okay this is the grill dehydrating tray what i showed you on the box i'm sure you weren't going to guess what it was from this little thing but yeah that's what this is this is the grill rehydrating tray. Uh, right. This is the multifunction rack. I'm sure you can put things on there, such as this, which I had done before. And you put that there. Ooh, doesn't really lock. And then you could put something on top to sit on top somehow, I presume, like that. And uh, yeah, or you can put it on the inside and put something on top maybe some a plate full of vegetables or something like that I don't know I'll have to find out I'm not a cook I'm just going through the uh, I'm just going through what it seems to be to me this is the air fryer basket base air fryer basket base okay so that's the base there for this so that sits on top of there and that's the air fryer basket base. Okay, that's good. That sits in there, so that's that. What else is there? Let's have a look. The protective pad and storage cover. That's what I showed you earlier, which is that thing there. That's what keeps the, um, obviously, the lid burning off your tabletop or whatever it might do, because it's so hot. Right, let's have a look at this now. This is the top 
pressure cooking lid. That's what that is. That's the top pressure cooking lid. As you can see, um, that's the float valve there. That's the quick release switch. That's the quick release to let the steam out. And obviously the handle. That's the steam release cover there. That's the steam release valve, which is this thing. That's the steam release valve there. That goes on top there. It goes on top. This bit here is the quick cool. Let's take this off. This is a quick cool protective cover. From what I've seen, there's another accessory you can get. And what that does, you put ice or whatever in it and um, it's like a basket and it slots in here it's obviously made for this area put you put it in there and it cools the pot down quicker not sure why you'd want to do that you must be i mean I'm, again i'm not a chef but it must do something by cooling down the the pot quicker but yeah that's what that's for i'm sure they wouldn't make it for nothing but yeah someone knows how to use that and it's not me that's the S ceiling ceiling uh, ring here it's a obviously rubber ring I won't take it out but there's a rubber ring there so yeah, it's in quite solid to be quite honest with you so I won't take it out so that's the rubber ring there and then you've got the uh, silicone cap and this is the steam release um, pipe uh, steam release pipe and that's the blocking shield anti-block shield there obviously yeah something to do with steam obviously the steam goes through there and it shoots off through the top here obviously and this bit here is to do with this when the pressure is obviously not there it's down like that and then when the pressure um, goes up it pushes it up and then that goes up and it stops obviously anything coming through and then when you release the steam it goes through there that's your steam release valve so that is it great i'm looking through the manual i don't think i would have worked this out without looking at it so yeah i never like to look at manuals but hey i'm not a cook so i've got to look at stuff like this so that's it guys that is the oh the other good feature I like with this, why I liked it, you know when you take the pot off, yeah? You take it off and there's somewhere to store it. That's good, isn't it? That is really good. You can actually store the pot. Lid, obviously. Store, store the lid. That is really good. You know, most times, like the ones what we got now, we take the top off and if we just find, oh, where should I put it? Oh, I'll put it over there and I'll put it over there and stuff. And there's water dripping everywhere. But this one, you take it off, you slot it in there and all the water that drips off the ring, you know, all the steam water, there's a channel here, which is another great feature. There's a little channel here and that channel, the water just runs into it and then runs into the water cup the water reservoir see and all your water that comes in that channel goes in there so it's well well thought out they really done a good job working it out look at that look at that lid on top there just sits there you do your stirring and then when you're finished you just pick it up put it where that is lock it and off you go and there's another one here not just that side, it's on both sides. Yeah, left-handed, you can put it in there. And right-handed, you put it in there. So they've thought of everything. They've thought of left and right-handed people. You can't beat that. Really, really good bit of kit. I like that. Good, good design. Very well thought out. These are all the buttons here. As you can see, uh, you've got pressure cook there. You've got saute, slow cook steam, sous vide, uh, air fryer, roast, bake, grill, dehydrate. 
I've got no idea what they do. I mean, I won't be using it, but hey, well, I know what air fryer does, and I know what a pressure cooker does, and slow cook steam, but um, yeah, getting to use it is another thing. So you just press what you want. If you want to pressure cook, you just press it. How much time you want to do it for, press start, off you go. As easy as that. Not complicated. When you've got your air fryer lid on, you press your air fryer. It's saying, oh, you need the lid. It knows the lid's not there. So I'm sure it will change when the lid's on. Roast. Lid. This is all the roast side. This is all the air fryer side, as you can tell. All the buttons on this side are saying lid. And then all this side here is obviously for your pressure cooker. That's your pressure cooker. That's your saute. That's your slow cook. Your steam. And your sous vide. That's it. Great stuff. Very easy. Love it already. Can't wait for the missus to start cooking on it. Until next time, catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.